I think that uh, our, A, our institutions, our academic institutions do a great job. Uh, I went to the School of Planning and Architecture, you know, nearly of a quarter of a century back. And after that, I did go to the A. And I can tell you today that uh, both those educations were invaluable and they, they work hand in glove. So first and foremost, I think our institutions are at a place today where they do teach. Yes, we do have issues in capacity of, uh, of the number of teachers who can teach, but primarily educate architecture and design is not about what you learn in college. It's about learning about learning, the ability to learn, because learning is a continuous and a continuous process. And that's the very nature of it, because you know what three or five years of education will do for you in, a, in architecture or design school is only give you the ability to open your mind. But the fact that your mind opens is yours. And unless you can open your mind to a whole future ahead of you, this is not a, this is not a teaching based profession, this is a learning based profession. And I think and that's the critical difference. So I don't think that there is anything that our schools don't teach us. I think it is our inability to learn, not only from our schools, but our broader environment at large. Design and architecture is not the domain of only an island, which is an educational institution. It is the domain of the entire city. It's the domain of, an, of the entire civilization. And, and in there lies our ability to bring, uh, to bring innovative ideas, to transform and uh, translate uh, ideas that we, that we think can, then can change the course of humanity, of civilization. In a, in a context which is sustainable.